What's up? What's happening? Hey, what's going on here? What is up with Antonio Brown? I mean, we all saw it at this point. We saw the memes. We saw the videos. We saw different angles from the sidelines, uh, from the broadcast cameras. You saw it all. Antonio Brown pretty much just left mid-game, third quarter with like two minutes, three minutes left in the game, in the, in the, in the quarter. Takes his pads off, takes his jersey off, throws into the crowd, walks off, runs off, jumps off, waves off. Antonio Brown, according to Bruce Arians, is no longer a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. So what is going on with Antonio Brown? I just want to go ahead and, and talk about this and really acknowledge, like, hey, what's the reason behind this uh, as far as Antonio Brown? Like, is he okay himself? The reason being why he did this, we don't know. We really don't know the main reason why this happened. We just know what Bruce Arians told uh, Fox's Jay Glazer, NFL insider, that Antonio Brown refused to get inside of the game, and Arians said, okay, then leave, and then he left. We don't know the reason why he didn't want to go inside of the game. If that is true, there's also other rumors out there, and this is just the internet talking, right? So you don't want to really take this with a lot of weight, but that he was eight catches away from receiving a 33 $333,000 bonus. Uh, he was like a certain amount of yards away, like 50 yards away from re receiving another bonus, a touchdown away from receiving another bonus. So uh, the team just shut him down. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just speculation on the internet. You come up with your own opinions, whether you believe that or not. We 100% do not know the reason what happened with Antonio Brown. But what I am going to acknowledge and what I am going to talk about is people are saying, all right, Antonio Brown, he is crazy. He's doing wild things. Yes, I agree with you. He is doing some pretty outlandish, crazy, wild things. But people are already labeling that as CTE. You know, the disease where you get a lot of blows to the head, concussions over and over and over, and it's just degenerative. You uh, lose, you can have memory loss, you can get depression, you can get uh, overwhelmingly exaggerated anger from CTE. And people are saying that he's acting crazy because of CTE. And I'm here on the show to say, nah, let's not get that crazy into it. I, I don't think, maybe he has like a little bit of CTE, like we don't know that yet, right? Like maybe all NFL players have it. But I don't think that's like the reason. Like I don't think it's severe enough to where it's ca causing him to do all of this stuff. I don't think this is the reason why he's doing this. I really do think that this is all just a personality trait of Antonio Brown. And now you could be saying, hey, well, how come you know more than us? Like, you have you don't know him personally, and I don't. I don't know him personally, but compared to everybody else, I think I have a little bit of a step up because I actually spoke to the man. I actually interviewed him. Now, I'm going to show you that interview here real quick. It's only like a minute long, and this was post-game. After the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the Super Bowl, I had the chance to interview Antonio Brown uh, and ask him his thoughts on um, – and going from all this offseason years dramas with the with the Raiders, with uh, the Patriots, and like going through all of that, and now all the cultivating to going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, signing with them, and winning a Super Bowl. So let me go ahead and show you that minute long video, and then I'm going to go ahead and get back to you guys. Antonio, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, man, congratulations on winning the Super Bowl. Thank you. We've watched a lot of your interviews throughout your NFL career, a lot of ups and downs in your career as well, but I've never seen so much joy on your face until now in this moment. Describe to me the downs in your career and how you worked through that to have so much happiness and joy in this moment right now. Well, I've been through a lot, man, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, adversity, uh, Persevering, fighting through, believing uh, to get to this point and be able to finish, man. I'm just super grateful. Uh, appreciation with the right perspective. Uh, I really thank God, man. Uh, this is a real moment. I uh, haven't really sunk in because all the hard work and, and the tangibles that go with it. But uh, I'm super grateful. And, man, I couldn't write a, a better story. Uh, God is the author and perfecter of my faith. And to be in this position, man, I just got to thank him. Yeah, that was the interview that we had with uh, Antonio Brown uh, post-game this Super Bowl. 
And, and it kind of gave me a little bit of clarity on like, okay, I wanted to kind of be respectful of asking him like, hey, why were you like going crazy during the off season? And uh, you, you've been, you're so happy right now in this moment. Like what, what happened? You know, and that's, that's kind of like the direction I was trying to get into. And like, how does this moment feel like going through all of that as well? Um, and just the vibe that I got when I was talking to him in that interview was like, this man doesn't have CTE. Um, again, like every NFL player might have like a little bit, but like, let me go ahead and give you some facts on CTE. So it's, um, it can lead to exaggerated anger, memory loss as well. Um, now his symptoms, if he does have CTE kind of mimics like the second stage of it, where it's like impulsive behavior, uh, poor judgment, which you could say like everything that he's done so far in his NFL career, like the off field issues kind of, kind of relates to that. I, I, I mean, I, I think it's really more so a personality trait. I think it's more so like an ego thing, like, Hey, calling Mike Mayock a cracker or, uh, whatever uh, off-season troubles that he's been through in off-season drama, I, I think it's more like a personality trait, like his own ego, like, hey, th- this is who I am, um, th- and you're not going to, like, wrong me in, in any sort of way. I'm going to get what I want kind of thing, right? So uh, do I think that he needs help? Like, people are saying, maybe, maybe. I I, I mean, sure, like, if if that's what it takes, but, like, I don't think it's help in the sense of like he has CTE. I don't. I don't want to go that far. I wouldn't go that far. So I mean, leave your thoughts and your comments down below. Like, do you think it's just like a behavior thing, like personality trait? Do you think it's like CTE that's actually like messing with his head? Um, because I I don't like and and you know I am kind of sticking up for him a bit because like I want to make this like a player show. Like I want to stick up for players in their own right. Like himself has said like he's misinterpreted and. Whatever that reason is, even though if we don't agree with them, let's hear them out, right? Uh, leave your thoughts and your comments down below on Antonio Brown. But yeah, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I've never seen anything like it. In his career in the NFL, it's probably over.